Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the zoom effect in Lightworks. You can see I have two clips here. I got my wood stove burning in the winter time. I love this thing. And then I have another clip of my Zazzle store over here, which I'm going to encourage you to check out at some point. So let's start immediately. So we can go to the effects tab right here. And the zoom effect is right here because I just used it. But let's say it's not. I'll click the little search button, type the word zoom without the squiggly bracket there and hit enter. And here it is. I can just take it and drag it down here. And what's nice about Lightworks is it enables you to keyframe the effects. So I'm actually going to go to the VFX tab right here. This gives us better control over the effects. And I'm going to click this little hourglass button in the actual zoom effect panel right here. This enables keyframing. And you can see there's automatically a keyframe added. So I'm going to play this and then I'm just going to stop it and I'll zoom way in. You can see it adds a keyframe automatically right here once I do that. I'll zoom again and I'm going to stop and just add a keyframe manually right here because I don't want any change from this point on. I'll hit the play button again and then I'll just zoom back out. Why not? And if I play this clip, it's going to zoom in. Then it's going to pause for a second and I'll hold that spot. And then it's going to zoom back out nice and simple. Let's say I want some more control over the keyframes. Well, I have a tab right here called keyframes. So I'm going to click it. And I can take the keyframes. I can move them around. I can zoom. I can say bring this one up here. Bring this one down. Move this to the beginning. I could, I could add a keyframe just by hitting the plus button here. So I can make this zoom back in. So this is going to zoom in, going to zoom out very fast, zoom back in and zoom out nice and slow. It's going to be all over the place. Here it is zooming in. Then it's going to zoom out real fast. There it goes. You didn't even see it. Now it's zooming back in. And now it zooms out really slow. So it's pretty cool. You can mess with the keyframes like that all you want. And you can change how it zooms and such. But now I'm actually going to go to these three little dots here. And I'm going to click reset reset all so this is back to the beginning and i'm going to show you a more practical use for the zoom effect so let's go back to the fx settings right here we're going to pick a good spot we'll add a keyframe manually by hitting the plus button actually we'll enable keyframing first so let's do that and then let's hit the plus button we will play the clip we're going to go to the very end of the clip so let's move through it frame by frame until we get to the end of it do, do almost there and we're there so go back now and now we're going to take this and zoom all the way in and that's going to add a keyframe at the very end of the clip so now the clip's just going to zoom in suddenly and do it quickly there it goes and now we're going to go to the clip of my zazzle store we're going to add the zoom effect to that so right here drag it in there and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to enable keyframing. We have this keyframe automatically added. Let's move it to the beginning of the clip. So take that and just drag it to the beginning. We'll hit the play button, let a few seconds go by, and then add another keyframe. And now we're going to take the first one and zoom it all the way up. We're going to bring it as high as it'll go. So what's going to happen is this clip is going to zoom in. Then this one's going to start zoomed in and zoom out. And it's going to be like a transition. So let's watch. Zooms in, start zoomed in on the other clip and zoom out. And now we just transition to this clip here. In which case, I'm going to encourage you to go to my Zazzle store. Link in the description. Check out this mesmerizing wall art here. This is all trippy wall art. Imagine hanging this in your living room, your neighbors coming over, checking it out, seeing this colorful, trippy, zany piece of high quality metal wall art with vivid colors. Click the video description and click the link in my Zazzle store and check out my products. I have a lot of stuff, including t-shirts. Uh, I have mugs, I have wall art, I have foam board art, I have a lot of stuff in there that you're really going to love and I really encourage you to check it out and share it. So if you like this video, please like and, and click subscribe and click the link in that video description. That's really all there is to the zoom effect in Lightworks. 
just add the effect, add some keyframing, you can mess with the keyframing, and you can do that little zoom transition that I just showed you. Now, again, check out the video description and click the link to my Zazzle store. And thanks for watching.